Let's start by importing the dynamic function from the next dynamic package. This function enables us to dynamically load components in Next.js applications. Here, we declare a constant named dynamic component and assign to it the result of calling the dynamic function. The first parameter of this function is a function itself, which uses the import keyword to dynamically import the file at the given path, dynamic component in this case. It returns a promise that resolves to the imported module, which is why we use the arrow function and the import statement together here. By passing in an options object with SSR, false, we tell Next.js not to use server-side rendering for this component. Now we are exporting a functional component called home. This home component renders a div with a heading. Below the heading, we render the dynamically imported dynamic component by simply using it as a JSX tag. Because dynamic component is loaded dynamically, the code for this component won't be included in the main bundle. Instead, it will be loaded asynchronously when the home component mounts, which helps in reducing the initial load time. To recap, dynamic imports in Next.js with Next Dynamic allow you to import components only when they are actually needed. This can result in faster page loads, especially for large components that are not immediately required. Keep in mind that if you choose to disable server-side rendering by setting SSR, false in the options, the component will only be rendered on the client side. This might be useful for components that rely on browser-specific functionality, or when the component should not be part of the initial HTML generated by Next.js. That's all for the code walkthrough. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials on Next.js and other web development topics.